Alright, we're back for another exciting stream with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. We're collecting some of the extra emblems today that are not in story mode. Hey, Nick! How you, how's it going? Uh, this is the original. I've heard that there is a randomizer for this, but uh, I have not tried it out. So, nope, we're just collecting emblems in the vanilla game. Oh yeah, that's right, we switched it to Sonic already. Cool. Alright, stage select. Alright, I've put it off for, I think, long enough. Let's go back to Aquatic Mine. Get the stupid 100, 100 rings. <laughs> I do not like this. This might be my least favorite level in the game. But we gotta, we gotta do it sooner or later. There we go. That's all we needed. <laughs> Before this stream, I uh, looked up a video on the optimal way to get 100 rings. I definitely will not be doing it as optimally as you can, but... Hopefully I can get it, at least in a decent amount of time. Yes, I am aware of the water level change here, Omo Chow. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, I believe we go down here. Yeah, this looks right. <laughs> I believe the rest of the rings are just down here. <laughs> I've heard I've, the randomizer literally just replaces the cutscenes or like the dialogue in the cutscenes, right? That's that's kind of what I've gathered from it. And there we go. I found him. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, this is perfect. I just don't like the water level changing on that level. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, 101. Select the state. <laughs> I generally for the randomizers, I'm a fan of the randomizers that actually like kind of change the locations of stuff in the game, like the Zelda randomizers. I also want to try out the Kingdom Hearts randomizers. But first, I need those games for the PC. Why are there so many ghosts in this mine? They don't make much sense. Alright, I can't remember where the Chow lies in here. We're just going to have to take a peek. Oh no, do I have to change the dumb old water level? Oh, brother. See, this, this is why Aquatic Line is such a bad level. <laughs> it's like, how were we supposed to know that we had to change the water level before coming here? Also, where did we come from? Where did we come in from? Oh, there it is. The cage over here. Well, no way rank for me for this one. Definitely not. Camera, you are terrible, as always. Now we go back to Scar, you know, you had to change the water level to level 2. Of course you had to. Yeah, as, as far as the Adventure 2 randomizer, I consider myself to be a very casual fan of Sonic Adventure 2. Um, well, that was pointless. That didn't even lead anywhere. Wonderful. 
Great. I can't remember where the last Chow is on this level. This is not good. I thought for sure that the Lost Chow was past that doorway. Oh well, at least we can enjoy this terrible rap song. Maybe we just didn't look hard enough in here. Rats. Forgot to change the water level again. To anybody out there who are making water themed video game levels, do not fall for the trap of like, oh, let's make you have to change the water level. That's a pretty cool idea. No, it's not fun. I was in a crate somewhere in here. No, it wouldn't be that easy. Dog on. Okay, I'm guessing the chow is not here. <laughs> I think I've been had. Maybe if we change the water level to Change the water level to one. My gosh, this level is such a pain in the butt to navigate. People always talk about Mad Space being bad, and it definitely is, but they never really talk about Aquatic Mind, which I would argue is worse. At least we have the air necklace. just leads to the air necklace normally, but maybe not. Oh no, this looks promising. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, we're not doing... We're not doing Aquatic Mine. No, thank you. Alright, uh, let's do the Iron Gate time limit. Let's do the easy mission so that way we only have the bad missions left and I'll never do them. <laughs> this seems like a good idea. I 
have to remember, because we're now doing the regular missions, I actually need to get a good score if I want the A rank. Uh-oh. <laughs> that didn't work out. Intruder alert. Assume level one. Don't shoot at me. That is a very rude thing. Let's try this part again. Um, nice hovering. <laughs> and then it said, oh, wow, that was awesome. I mean, you totally died by doing that, but it was awesome. Yes, it was. Apparently, you don't want to touch the diagonal sloped area. Otherwise, I can just immediately. It's like, oh, die? Yes, I'll do that. Eggman, you are supposed to lock onto the dang door. This level is literally the first level. It should not be hard. There we go. Oh, come on! I hovered on that! Doggone it! Eggman's hovering abilities are really lacking today. Oh, I freaking hate the hovering in this. I really hate the hovering. So, go, did you touch a one pixel that's slightly higher than you? Sink like a brick into the abyss. It doesn't even make sense physics wise. Dang it, this is supposed to be one of those walker levels that's actually really fun, too.
Come the freak on! I am so sick of this stupid hoverbug. And you know if you just ride the elevator down there, you're gonna come more fast enough. D. Actually, why am I even bothering trying to get a good rank? Like, it's not like I'm gonna try to get all the A ranks in this. Been there, done that. Don't really have any desire to do it again. I'm just playing this because I was under the impression that this is a fun game. <laughs> oh, look! Another hover bug! This level absolutely sucks. Not this level. Actually, this level's pretty fun. These physics absolutely suck. Take this part slower. I'm getting sick of <laughs> getting sick of dying to that over and over again. Yeah, because the other security doors have done such a great job of keeping me out. <laughs> Just put more of them in! There we go. Come on, give me an A rank. I deserve it. I got almost every rain on the entire course. 21,000, come on. Now you know why I am the best. Yes, at last. That took far longer than it should have. Nice job. All right. That's right, we couldn't find the Lost Chow in the security hall. Forgot about that. Um... Try Dry Lagoon on hard mode. Save the turtle. It's very important. moving around somewhere. It's 
Oh my gosh, it's really high up. That was the craziest kick I've ever seen, Rouge. Like, you literally just went flying off the platform. Oh, thanks, Rouge. That was spectacular. There's got to be an invisible screen somewhere. Because that's the kind of game this is on hard mode in the treasure hunt missions. It's like, oh, you just got to use a treasure scope everywhere, even though you can't, like, wear it anywhere unless you're just standing still on the ground. What, you want to you wanna jump and fly around while wearing the treasure scope? Don't be ridiculous. That's an absolute impossibility. By the way, did you know there's a move that you can turn enemies into balls and throw them? physics in this game are terrible. It might be literally something stupid like you have to do this and then, oh, you magically hit an invisible spring in the air. Because <laughs> it's not just... The springs are invisible unless you're wearing the treasure scope. The springs flat out do not exist unless you're wearing the treasure scope, which makes zero sense. Or is this a case of... Wait, hang on. Is it actually moving? So if so, if it's moving, it might literally be a case of... Oh. It's a literally a case of you just have to time the spring just right. Invisible wind that you can't see and makes no sense that it exists. Gotta love that. I hate it when the pieces move. Is there invisible wind that just exists to make it annoying to get that? That's a perfect example of fake difficulty. There's not even like a fan blowing, and it only exists on like a very specific part. Gosh, the physics in this game are really bad. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> I literally flew right into the wall, and then instead of grabbing on and climbing, she, like, just got pushed away. Like, really? It doesn't help that a better camera would make this a much better game. <laughs> You literally have to do a blind dive into the emerald piece. How is this fun? <laughs> Narrator, it wasn't. Alright, I'm willing to bet the next one we have to save the dumb turtle. And then ride him to the next part of the level.
Yep. Oh, of course. Oh yeah, Rouge can't breathe underwater. Forgot about that little... I forgot about that little technicality. Huh. Interesting, I'm wearing the treasure scope underwater. I didn't realize that was a thing you really could do. Of course, as soon as you start swimming upwards, you magically take it off. For some reason. Convinced there's an invisible spring somewhere. Aha! Knew it. I got it. Not a fan of the hard mode levels in the treasure hunt. I'm ashamed to call myself a hunter. Hey, we got them in the end. <laughs> That's what really counts. Select this that... Uh, let's see. Let's try Lost Chow in the Sand Ocean again. We tried this last stream, and it did not work out. Lock-on skills are just impeccable. Far you you can hover really depends on just how fast the water decides it's going. To move. Gone it! Are you? St Ugh. I have a very love-hate relationship with the shoot 'em up levels. When the walker actually controls as it's supposed to, it's that they're actually pretty fun levels. When the walker decides it's going to sink into the bottomless pit, then it are terrible. No 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 come on. That's no fun. Good physics. platform always moves away. I remember this happening last stream as well.
Are you serious? Oh, I hate these. Physics! If they were consistent, I could handle it, but it's not. Just sometimes you fall and there's really nothing you can really do about it. There he is. Yosh. Hooray! We finally did it. Now you know why I am the best. Whew, thank goodness we don't have to deal with that again. <laughs> 104 emblems. Nice job. All right, I think we need to take a bit of a break. We need to go to our chow garden. Who do you want to be? I'm gonna be Eggman. Duh. Oh yeah, also I think four of my chow are still in kindergarten. They've been there for a week. Ho oh ho! I am the most trustworthy egg Eggman come to pick up my chow. Oh, they can learn spin dance. My chow is a very good dancer. He is amazing. Look how happy he is that he's being picked up by Eggman. <laughs> the most trustworthy of all. Also, how many chow do I have in this garden? If I have too many, then... Because I kind of want to transfer a chow for my old memory card. <laughs> wow! I left the kindergarten without opening the door! How magnificent! Why can't I take more than one chow out at a time? <laughs> Whoa! You also gotta love how Eggman is faster on foot than he is in his walker. You both learned the spin dance. There you go. Let's go to the black market. Nothing good. Alright. Ho ho ho! Yosh. <laughs> All right, we'll take a brief brief break. We're going to the other Wanna save file. Select the file. Select the, file. the one where I have all 180 emblems. Select the stage. Who will you be? Because there's somebody who needs to go to the other garden. I hope there's room. I actually might ha not have enough room. Alright, I believe they're in the hero garden. Yes, there's a hero garden. Where are you? Actually, he might be in the other, uh, the regular garden. Nope! There's Supersonic! <laughs> um, can't I transfer him? Or is the... Unable to select, step on the button without... I can do that. <laughs> I 
I have such an eclectic mix of Chow, don't I? I have a ghost. I have a Sonic Chow, a Knight's Chow, a Volcano Chow. Alright. Should put Supersonic in the normal garden. Yes. Supersonic's gonna help me win some of these races. And he is pretty super at racing, after all. Set options. And bada beam bada boom. Who do you want to be? Now we can do some shower races. I mean we could have earlier anyways, but now they should hopefully go a little bit faster, because supersonic is quite a bit faster than a heft is. Still need to unlock the hero in dark races, though. Let's do more challenge races. Supersonic, neutral run. He returns. I can take him on. No problem. Look how fast Supersonic is. He's intelligent, too. Well, he's still fast. Minor setback. Oh, look at that. He's already back in first place. That's my boy. Do we have to do the same really long track every challenge race? Like, come on, it seems a bit excessive. E, 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 chug, 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 chug. Gotta be faster than that, he. That's his actual name, he. Alright, Supersonic. Going for a nice little dip. Gotta pick up the square fruit, Supersonic. Not the Sonic dolls, not the round fruit. Yeah! See, I told you he was smart. He's fast, he's smart, he just has bad luck sometimes. <laughs> I still love how they have to take, like, a quiz show in the middle of the <laughs> race. This is the weirdest race ever. <laughs> like, imagine it if, like, it's like, oh, it's the Olympic, like, the Olympic, like, track it meet. It's like, oh, but now they have to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire in the middle of it. <laughs> that would make the Olympics a little more interesting. Supersonic is maybe not the best at swimming, but we're working on it. I think he's maxed out at everything. But I think he's an S rank at running, which is why he's so dang fast on the ground.
Is he going to fall down the pit? Doggone it! Goal! We can only do a challenge race every once in a while. It just takes so long. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. Let's do some jewel races. With Mickey Mouse. We'll do more of the topaz. One of these chow is not like the other. Ready, start! Alright. <laughs> nice flight, Mickey. It would be nice if... <laughs> it would be nice if, on these jewel races, if you did f well enough the first round that you could have beaten all the guys in the last round, that you don't have to do it five different times. You could just do it once if you're good enough. That would be pretty nice. Love the jewel race music. Nice job, Mickey. You did me proud, buddy. Yeah, can't we just unlock the level 5 version and do that? <laughs> no, you have to work your way up there, even though you're clearly the best. Okay, the Garnet Cup. That's the Strength Cup. Excellent. FT, you're, you've fallen asleep. Come on. You got a race to win. Ready? Start. He was, he was just stretching before the big race. Oh, this is a short race, too. Off the block canyon. Oh nope, we <laughs> gotta shake a tree first. Alright, have to show us what you're made of. Oh my gosh, look at him climb. It's ridiculous. Gold! Nice job, buddy. Dun, 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 <laughs> The chow races take kind of a long time. I wish they didn't, but they do. Alright, back to some more missions. We don't want to bore the audience.
Exit from Chow Garden. Ha did we do Pumpkin Hill hard mode yet? Select this stage. No, we did not. Well, we're doing that now. Rip headphone users. <laughs> That's where the pieces are. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I remember that's what the first one was. One of them is just kind of hovering in the air near a spike ball trap. Aha! Yep. Poor Larry. He got got by a ghost. At least according to the lyrics of the song. One more left. Bon -on -on. Hey Marty, yep, it's hard mode for Pumpkin Hill, but we're about to beat it. The great Emerald's power allows me to be. <laughs> Wait, what? But nothing hit me! Aw, oh, heck no! I'm not losing out on my A rank just because the game glitched and hit me. Get out of here, you stupid ghost. It's closer. Marty, is this your favorite of the Knuckles rap songs? Very, very serious question. It's over. It's over. That is so not fair. Ghost just materializes out of nowhere to kill you. Here's the first one. No, oh, come on. I totally touched a rain. Taking out this bozo first. Taking out this bozo first. All right. Hey, Mobius. I I don't know why this game has such bad lighting, and by that I mean it's so dark you can barely see. Again, the sunglasses don't let you see the spring, it lets you literally, it literally makes the spring materialize into the world. How can I see what I'm doing? 
I have dual monitors set up, and the screen I'm actually playing on is lighter. Yeah, this is perfect. I have no idea how to change the brightness settings on what OBS is capturing. I have looked. I cannot find out. Select this. We are done with Pumpkin Hill now. Except for that first mission, if we ever want to go back and A rank it, which I don't. Let's do hidden base lost chow. I mean, it is supposed to be a dark and creepy level. So I'm get the bad lighting is part of the immersion, <laughs> just like how the terrible controls are part of the experience. Oh, good, we got a tiger friend and a skunk for yeah. I'm not giving a skunk to my child. It's not the game. It's literally just my OBS settings, like, or just OBS in general, because, actually, or maybe it's the, I think it might be actually be the capture card, because every game I play on the capture card has really bad lighting compared to the other games that I've played. Don't know why. Don't know how to fix it. I have tried. No. My gosh, I've... I freaking hate the shoot 'em up the hover physics. And I will keep saying this until the physics stop being so bad. You're not you're not the you're not the first person in this stream who has recommended the randomizer to me, Marty. It's probably not going to happen, though. It doesn't seem like it changes anything critical, it just makes the cutscene weird. I hate the bad hover physics! Like, did they not playtest this game at all? Sometimes it really feels like they did not playtest the game at all. Or they did and they're like, oh, this is a problem. Uh, well, too bad, we ain't fixing it. They had to have known how bad the hover physics are. Okay, okay, okay. So this level takes place in the daytime, which is why the lighting's a lot better.
Back that I haven't. Oh, here we go. I'm like, where's the other channel pedestal? I don't like this. No. No. Jackbutt. No. The only thing worse than the only thing worse than the hover physics is the bad camera. Very good. I bet you I was seven seconds too late to get the A rank. <laughs> That's fine. We did it. We did it, Bowie Simo, we did it. Hooray! Select this. Let's do Pyramid Cave Lost Chow. Pyramid Cave is actually kinda of fun. I say kind of, because it'll probably prove me wrong. How did we not grab any rings? I mean, this whole game is pretty epic music. No. Darn it. Also, don't remember where the pedestal is on this level, so... I'm gonna just blaze through it. The physics on the light speed dash as well. I think the, uh, pedestal is later on in the level. How dare you. Thank goodness for these conveyor belts. No, Sonic, you were supposed to drop it. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ghosts are some of the most annoying enemies in the game. They can just pop out of absolutely nowhere, grab you, and slow you down. I think the pedestal's just kind of chilling on a platform somewhere. Here it is. Yep. Oh, no. No! Sonic! You dumb butt!
What the? I missed the pedestal? What? I am very confused right now. That pedestal did something different this time than it did last time. Oh, that was a different pedestal? What? How did I miss the other one? I'm so confused. Oh, so help me if I was point twenty seven seconds away from an A rank. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just made it. I wasn't. I don't know why I'm caring so much about the A ranks. Again, there is no way I'm going into A rank everything. <laughs> no chance, no way. I won't A rank everything. Let's go to Death Chamber, Marty's second favorite level. Find the keys within five minutes. I'll I will do my best. Chest up there, perhaps? It's closer. No, it's not. Fast Aha. Two more left. <laughs> yes, there is a new sound alert. From Best Spider Man. Uh oh, this is not where I'm supposed to be. This wise. Oh, I do like how I'm close to the key now. Sarcastically. Oh, 
We haven't been to Green Room yet. Alright, well, I don't think that's an A rank, because we took too long on that second key. Still, I'm happy. 15,000. Oh? Yeah, this is perfect. Well, that's right. Mission 4 has less strict A rank requirements. Yes! Alright. Select the stage. We can do egg quarters as well. It's basically the same course. Three minutes? That's different. This does have better music, though. Excuse me, that was very rude of you. Why can't all three of the key indicators go off at the same time? Why is it I have to get the first one before I get the second one? Well, I gotta find the others real quick. I should play Final Fantasy XII. Uh, never played that one. <laughs> the answer is, I wish. Where are these dang keys? Time limits for this level are so strict. Now we gotta, we have to restart. Oh no, is this in the same spot? Doesn't look like there's a key in there. Let me guess, go back to the red room and there's a new key that we couldn't see before for no reason. Oh look, I was right.
I'm very. Are you serious? I was like just the tiniest bit off. Great. Okay. We have 40 seconds to find the last key. <laughs> Wonderful. Probably in the blue chamber, isn't it? Excuse me, I did not give you permission to do that. No! Dog freaking gunner! I don't like this level. Frazzle Frazzle Plant Treasure Chest. I do not even know what that switch does. I hate the layout of this level, especially it's like, oh, you gotta dig in this precise spot on the wall if you want to find it. Feels like the key is moving around. That's where the first key is. I like that. Yes. Ow. There we go! Oh my gosh, that took way longer than it needed to! I have one ring. Just like Lord of the Rings. Boom! A rank. How was that? Perfect? Like me? That was about as perfect as you could get for that course, to be perfectly honest. Select the stage. Octa. All right, let's give this uh, the old college try again. Eternal Engine, 100 reigns. We got very close last time. I don't want to keep putting it off forever. Do 
It's true. The hover physics so much. Ah, the, hu the bad hover physics have caused me to die more times than basically anything else in this game. It's so bad. Um, big explosion apparently. Come on, just shoot! Oh my gosh! Why would you not lock on, you stupid fox? Sonic Adventure 2, I used to speak highly of your walker levels, of your shoot em up levels. I thought they were actually pretty good. Now, I disagree. I actually might like the treasure hunt levels more. Thank you for finally locking on. this game in and out and be okay with it. Thankfully, once you learn how to deal with the artificial chaos, it makes the level a lot more manageable. Still very annoying, but more manageable. Not 
want to blow up the Dane Bridge. Are you kidding me with these stupid hover physics? If you're not sinking like a brick for no reason, you're not... It's so frustrating because I'm not even like playing badly. It's literally just the game decides no, you don't win today. Like if, if I lose because I play badly, I, I, that's fine by me. If I lose because the game just refuses to let me jump and then hover in that order, even when I push the buttons, well, that really gets my goat. Probably shouldn't have been that risky there, but... You know me, impatience leads to recklessness. Are you freaking serious right now? I hate this level so much! I'm not sure if this is worse than Cannon Score with regards to 100 Reigns, but oh man. If it's not the number one worst level for 100 Reigns, it is the second worst. No question. How is it possible that, like, the easiest part of this level are the airlocks? Which I previously thought were the hardest part. What a twist. Yeah, it literally used to be like, I'm like, this level's really hard because there are airlocks that can suck you out and artificial chaos, and now those are literally the two easiest parts of this level. shield really yes 
Finally! My gosh, that level was absolute garbage. And I got an A rank. Oh, thank goodness. Alright. We're taking a break from Eternal Engine for a little bit. These arc levels, man, they are super annoying. So let this stage. Okay, let's try Final Chase again with the uh, Lost Chow that I apparently didn't find last time. Love those physics. So like if you couldn't even get, like, your regular gravity physics proper, don't make a level that involves changing gravity. It'll just turn it up to 11. Like, that part, they literally did not even test out, even slightly. Because you're supposed to dash them on all of the pads and then grind on the rail, and then you always go over the last couple. <laughs> Some parts of this level really look like Shadow was supposed to have the bounce bracelet like Sonic, but then they just didn't put it in. Alright. Uh oh. These rails already don't really work <laughs> normally. If I'm at max speed, they're also not going to work. Uh oh. I thought the Lost Chow pedestal was up there. Perhaps it's even further up ahead. Ouch. Um. Hi, game. Fantastic physics you have. Truly unlike any other game. Oops. Um, the whole point of those... <laughs> Literally, the whole point of those platforms was so you couldn't go on the anti-gravity part, and yet you still can. Okay. Um. Okay, so there's nothing up there. Is there a second part where you go inside the arc? That might be it. Please 
light speed dash when there are only two rings left. Gosh, the light speed dash in this game is absolute garbage. I'm not even going to be able to see down it if I go there, I am I? Nope, not going back. Not exactly what I wanted you to do there, Shadow. Zero rains is not giving me a lot of comfort. No, I did not want to hit the Dane's brain. Not even a little bit. Something else caught my interest. Aha! There we go. Here That's we go. not an A rank, I'm pretty sure, but... Oh, it is! Nice job, Shadow. You did me proud. Okay, maybe the pedestal was there on the Sonic version, like on top of the... slope that I was thinking of? I'm gonna check. Because I get a lot of Final Rush and Final Chase mixed up. Let this date. <laughs> EA Games. <laughs> Final Rush is a cool level, it's just the rail grinding is too glitchy. Yeah, like, try grinding, try changing to that rail when you're going at this speed. There's no way you're going to. You'll just jump right off the cliff.
be like, rail switching at slow speeds works. At high speeds, it absolutely does not. Actually, was this one of those levels I tried to find the Lost Chow on and then didn't? I think it actually may have been. going to spin dash here. Oh, great. The electric shield can actually royally screw you <clears throat> Can royally screw you up because you won't be able to light speed dash at all if you have it. Because it'll grab the rings for you before you can actually chain them together. Um. <clears throat> I was kind of trying to land on that rail. Um, I'm trying to land on the rail. Please stop phasing through it. Ex Sonic, will you please just land on the freaking stinking rail? Like I said, this game is ridiculously glitchy. Oh look, he phased through a rail again. Alright, forget this. I'm getting on the rail early, so you can't miss it. Um. Oh, that worked. Okay. Um, Sonic. Sonic. Buddy. You really need to stop sucking. I know it's very hard for you, but... Uh huh. Don't like this level. Like it in theory, don't like it in practice. Hey, yeah, here, here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Surely you're not. Are you are you serious? Sonic, why do you suck so much? Why are you phasing for rails? Why do rails just not exist? Uh, I don't know how much... I don't know if I can keep streaming this for much longer. Just in period, in general. <laughs> this game can be pretty fun, but doggone it, is it unbelievably frustrating at times. Look at that! Did you see what just happened? Sonic literally just passed through a solid rail. Yahoo! 
Like, that's not even... That was not even my imagination. I did the, the ball bounce, and he phased right through it. I mean, you say to do that, Omo Chow, but guess what? It doesn't always work out. Oh, hey, shortcut. As long as Sonic doesn't face through the rail again. Thank you, Sonic. Remember, Lost Chow is just all about... Are you guys seeing how incredibly poorly designed this stage is? <laughs> if you aren't, then I, I question your sanity. That, the rings were literally there in a range to say, Hey, use the light speed dash. And then guess what? It didn't happen. The game may be buggy, but it has the best rail system in the series. I disagree. I think the only Sonic game that actually has, like, good rail design that's not glitchy is Shadow the Hedgehog. And that game has its own problems. <laughs> By the way, welcome to the stream. Oh, wait. No, that was a mistake, I think. That was a mistake, I think. Actually, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Oh! Okay. I tried doing it the game's way. Now we're doing it my way. <laughs> I think this I think this game has like really good level design in general. I just think it needs to be remastered. Are you Are you serious? Like <laughs> I'm pretty sure the game developers did not playtest half of the levels in this game. No. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the only two levels that the game developers actually tested... Oh, I'll say three. Three. City Escape, Metal Harbor, and Radical Highway. Those were the only three levels that were tested. I'm pretty sure. Or rather, they're like, okay, is it at least physically possible to beat it? Okay, then it's fine. It's, um, it has all these, like, really bad bugs. Nope. Don't have time or money to fix it. We're just crushing the game out. <laughs> That's the only thing that, to me, explains all of these. <laughs> Design decisions. <laughs> Okay, I know where to go. I know where to go, it's just can I actually get there in time? Okay. Are you are you serious? I hit the boost pad, which was directly in front of a rail, and missed the rail and died. Like, my gosh, this game, man. It's got high highs, but it has got some abysmal lows. Like, all of this stuff here where you're supposed to grind from one rail to another, yeah, it doesn't work. You have to do it your own way. Okay. We'll hit the checkpoint. Now! Can't really blame him, it was... Come on. Come on. Okay, we made it up here.
Well, thank goodness we lost the electric shield, I guess. Otherwise, we'd be in big doo doo this time. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. Are you serious? Uh, We're going back to Child Garden after this. I need therapy. Are you serious? I hate the rail grinding. Thank goodness Sonic has stopped phasing through the rails. That's at least a small comfort. Do 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 do. Pew! Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Yes! yes! Found the Dane Moss Chow. You better appreciate this. Too easy. He's a king. I will take the B rank all the way to the bank. That's fine by me. <laughs> Hey, you got an emblem! <laughs> that really wasn't worth it. <laughs> I've decided I don't really like any of the levels on the arc. Alright. Chow World. It's Chow time, Woody. Yeehaw! Where's Half-T? Where's Gabriel? Gabriel, you know you aren't good enough to swim. Not the bucket. Keep that for later. Not the stump. Put that away. Even picking up the drives can be glitchy. everybody doing? Supersonic is daydreaming. Good for him. Mickey's taking a hard-earned rest. Adam is just kind of sitting there. Hefty's romping around like he owns the place. And Gabriel's in a good mood. Where is Hydro? Oh, that's right. Hydro is in kindergarten. Along with, um... Who's the other one? Oh yeah, along with Magnet. You guys need to learn how to draw. Alright, off to more chow races. <laughs> We'll keep up with the jewel races. Until my mood improves. <laughs> Alright. Who's the best at swimming? Probably Hefty. Definitely Hefty. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Hefty's no longer asleep. He's just thinking about something. <laughs> Same cannot be said for the other Chow that he's raising. Come on, Chow, put your backs into it. Ooh, it's a nice straight shot to the exit. Wonderful. I like how pretty the Chow Race though, is. Yeah, it looks a bit dated now, but the graphics still kind of hold up, I would say. Everyone into the crab pool! Congratulations! You schooled the other Chow because your Chow is maxed out at swimming. <laughs> Let's do it again. But this time, the competition will be maybe a little better. No, some of them are still asleep. Fewer, though. Also, how do people get the chow with, like, the toothy grin? Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been able to get one. Competitors are actually kind of close behind us. That's not good. FT, you're supposed to be a master swimmer. <laughs> the crabs look so derpy and I love it. Nice job, buddy. You make me proud. One more race, buddy. Not on the Aquamarine th round, though. Going back to the Garnet Cup. It's all about the power. Schwarzenegger will teach you a thing or two. Okay, that red one might be pretty strong as well, but we'll show him. Look at these muscles. Hefty is a child that is like. His muscles are literally swollen. Oh no, he tripped. It's okay. He'll overtake them in the canyon. <laughs> Easy. Part of the race is to stop and have a snack. Now that's my kind of race! Except then you have to climb straight up. That's a little difficult for me to do.
Nice job, Hefty. You can take a break now, buddy. Chow Garden was one of the few things I think that this game did really, really right. Along with a couple of hand handful of levels. Alright, let's get Super Sonic in for some of the running races. The key to winning is running. That's usually the case it is for most races. Imagine you're like a would-be chow training for the Olympics, and then you just see Super Sonic next to you. It's like, okay, well, probably won't be winning this one. Sonic. That's an impressive set of wings. We should get Skeleton Dogs to remove some of those animal parts from him, so he looks a little more like actual Supersonic. Goal! <laughs> they didn't even come around the final corner before we finished. That's what we call a slaughter. Alright, one more race and then I think we'll go back to the missions. It is amazing how much Chow Garden can just calm the soul. Oh, we got two more cups. The Onyx Cup and the Diamond Cup. Key to winning is brains and luck. I have one of those. Kind of. General ability is also key to win. I forgot that there were six cups instead of just four. Great. <laughs> Chow race is just getting longer and longer, isn't it? I like how the, uh, like, adult race begins with just the child race, but then it just goes on for longer. Keep on trucking, Supersonic. You're doing great. Stamina is that one step that you just is really hard to increase because you can't glitch to increase it. Nice job, buddy. This has been Chow Race.
part of me just wants to... F oh. Select I know, we can try. Let's try the dreaded Rouge Car No Touch the Walls mission. <laughs> With an emphasis on the try. This is gonna be tough. I'm picking up This is this is definitely a very tough mission. Strategically knowing when to boost and when to break. That's key that's key for this mission. Yeesh. We also can't go too slow. It's the perfect storm of perfection, basically, that's expected. Just give me a little bit more, Eggman. No! Oh, the tunnels always are annoying. You can never tell what's coming up. I did really well, though, for the first attempt. I made it to the final part of the course. And then I immediately sucked on the second attempt. That's about right. That's about right. Let's go. Yeah. Why is my car steering so bad? There we go. I much prefer this turn into the slide one. Almost fell off a cliff. That would have been very... How did I not fail the mission right there? I definitely scratched the wall. Not fun. Okay, I thought breaking was supposed to help you turn, not make your turning worse. Come on, man. That's a much better use for the boost. There we go. Being able to boost right after you finish breaking sharply, that's definitely going to help with the time. The time is not in the consequential. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh, Alright. <laughs> I knew this one was gonna be a tough mission though. And this one is tough, it doesn't seem particularly glitchy though. Which I can I can appreciate that. there. It's a waste. Yeah, breaking doesn't seem like it really does anything. I guess maybe if you break and do this slip turn in. Anyhow, this is our last attempt, because scraping the wall results in death. Okay. I tried to do the power sliding, and it made me speed up and turn worse. Select the stage. Lovely. Let's do Meteor Herd. Have you heard? It's Meteor Herd. <laughs> Climb up, and keep our eye out for the blinker. Man, if there was ever a level where it would be helpful to be able to detect all three pieces at once, it would be this one. Well, shoot, I could have gotten that at, like, the very beginning. One left and we're at the top. This is good. It's closer. All right. That was pretty easy. Not sure if that's in A rank because we did take a little bit of time on the first one, but. Never mind. Yeah, this is perfect. Nice job, Knuckles. The treasure hunt missions are definitely the easiest ones to A rank. Select the stage. Let's do an annoying one. Mad space.
once again, we go to the top, and then fly around to try to find them. around the bottom first this time. Wow, nice, nice rouge. Just truly fantastic. It's on the oval planet somewhere. Alright, that wasn't too hard. just tried to escape from this forsaken planet. No, 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 no! No, it's on this planet somewhere! It's buried in this part of the wall, isn't it? That's an evil place to hide it.
That ain't an A. It's all too easy for me. B's not too bad though. Nice job. All right. <laughs> Where to next? Select the stage. Cosmic Wall. I like this level. The hover physics aren't quite as bad. Cause you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. This level is so much fun. Probably the best of the uh, walker levels. Slash shoot em up levels. Whichever you prefer to call them. Yeah, th this part of the level was pretty cool as well. get a ridiculous score on this level. Oh no! I got hugged. The fact that the camera is not letting me see back here. See, oh no! I thought for sure that was where the chow thing would be. I was wrong.
I thought the shop pedestal was in that first building area, but... Huh. Uh-oh. such a fun level. This is like a level gimmick that's actually like genuinely awesome. Ah, uh, perhaps it's in here somewhere. Shell pedestal yet, which is worrying. I thought I was in one of these buildings somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I think we missed it somewhere because this is the last leg of the journey. in the game that I forget about. <laughs> the lost shell locations are like the number one. Is that it? Aha! There we go. Yes. Yeah, I could have done that a little faster. Understandable, since I was looking for it as I went. Alright, let's see if we can get up to 120 emblems before the stream ends. That would be pretty cool. Select this date. Let's go back to the dreaded Eternal Engine. <laughs> Find the last chow. I will do my best. At least this time we don't have to worry about not taking damage. I actually think the chow was in the area that we kept dying to dying in for the hundred rings chow.
sure. Aha. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that floating platform there. Uh oh. Oh, that was a big mistake. <laughs> that was a big mistake. Hey, I know where to look now. Freaking Dane, bad jump hover physics strike again. Okay. Tails blows up the ship. Okay. Bad jump, hover physics, strike again. How many times is that now? I forget. Hitting me with these bad jump hover physics. Okay. I think. Tails shoot 'em up levels are my least favorite. The Eggman ones are actually a lot better because Eggman controls so much better. All right. Oh my gosh, we even hovered over it. There you are! Probably a B rank. It's like, oh, you need 1 minute 30 seconds, exactly. Never mind. Woo! Good job, Tails. I would say I'm proud of you, except you died in stupid ways like five times, so. I'm proud you made it there in the end. So let Let's try Cannon Score 100 Reigns. I'm gonna regret this, but we'll try it. System alert. System alert. Intruder has breached the system area. Initiate debug program. I like how the time, the little like time switch, also stops the in-game timer, helping you with your score.
right, there we go. The Eggman part is where things get tough. This part. Yep, that part. Super unfair. System alert. System alert. One artificial chaos I can deal with. Two? No. Two is just on red. You can't keep them both at bay. And there are no timer switches to make them easy. Yeah, with one, you can just keep him at bay by stun locking him. Two, you can't do that. Okay. Let's try this again. I have no idea how I'm getting past those artificial chaoses, though. Maybe you can keep them both stunned in place? We don't believe it! Past the artificial, well, maybe I know how to get past the artificial chaoses. If it worked out last time, maybe it'll work out again. Or maybe I got lucky. Uh oh. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, the Tails part's actually not too bad. It's the Eggman part that where things get tough. Ok, 
Okay, if you can get behind them, it's not too bad. Oh, I got 20 rings. Oh, no. Camera. Camera. I'm begging you. This guy's going up. Yes! Yeah! One minute, 40 seconds exactly. Now you know why I am the best. Yes! Kedden's core. Oh my gosh, that level is so difficult. Three more emblems, and we can end the stream in good conscience. All right, what are some, uh, I don't want to say easy emblems that we can get, but... Crazy Gadget Lost Chow, yeah! Yeah! I think it's in the anti-gravity maze at the end, with all the different colored blocks. Very glad I don't have to A-rank these levels. I do love the tube effects on this level. They're really cool. Cool. It, uh, didn't even have to somersault there, I guess. That's not fair. You didn't give me any warning that you were gonna do that. It's like Sonic 1. Wait, you were going fast? Oh, that was a mistake. Why would you go fast in a Sonic game? Now granted, Sonic 1 was the first Sonic game, but still. It was be it advertised itself as being a game where you go fast. It's kind of Sonic's little shtick. Except in Sonic Labyrinth, but we don't talk about that game. Hope the light speed dash works for you there, otherwise you would big dude. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright. I think that the Chow pedestal is in this room somewhere. If memory serves. Couldn't stop. <sighs> Come on, just grab the Dane lever. Trying to explore the level to find the hidden thing here? What a loser. Here, die for it. You should just know where the chow is. Still trying to take a look around. Kidding me? This game is so badly designed at times. They did not test that.
Why did they map like 20 different things all to the B button? That was not the best decision they could have made. There we yes. go. Took over five minutes, but we found the chow in the end. Too easy. Piece of cake. She came close to an A rank, which is surprising. Ironically, that's one of the better designed levels in the game. <laughs> Despite all the crazy anti-gravity stuff that happens. Alright, two of the emblems to go. The sky rail time limit. Two minutes to get to the end. I will do my best. We haven't played a shadow today. Um, nice job, Shadow. Me in the face. I think we'll be getting a low score today. Shadow, your homing attack leaves something to be desired. Shadow. Tight. Grinding on this hole is actually pretty decent. Oh, we gotta hurry up. Thank you for not facing through the rail like a certain blue hedgehog did. <laughs> Shadow, you almost screwed the pooch so bad at the end there. I pressed B and then you waited like five seconds and then tried to somersault off a cliff. 
That was really dumb. Hmm. Too easy for me. Nice B rank. Just one more emblem before we can call it a day. Let's make it a good one. Oh, I know. Let's do. <laughs> Let's do expert card racing. Check out card racing. Eggman. Expert. How come I can't get the boost? <laughs> well, this is not off to a good start. I just can't catch up to them. Probably because they keep eating all the rings. Oh, there we go. Hey. Um. Well. Oh no, come on! No! I'm still learning the course, but I, I think I've already lost. I literally think I could play perfectly and not be able to catch up again. Okay, yeah, I don't think Eggman is physically fast enough. No! I wanted to change my character. Shadow. We're gonna need the dark. <laughs> We're gonna need the dark power of the Chaos Emeralds if we want to beat this. <laughs> I'm number two. Just you wait. When I get up to speed, none of you will know what hit you. Darn it, it is very hard to grab rings on this. What? How is Eggman overtaking me? What? This course seems slightly easier than the standard course, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh god. It, the springs are so scarce. Sonic just drove off a cliff. Classy move. Uh-oh. 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 Oh my gosh, it didn't spin out. Yeah, this seems easier than the standard difficulty. It's 
Standard difficulty had several, like, sets of turns that you literally had to break for. Or start power sliding incredibly far in advance. This? Not so much. There are a couple of tight turns, but they're perfectly manageable. Yeah, that was way easier than standard card. <laughs> Maybe it's just I'm used to the controls now, but I did not struggle with that nearly as much as I struggled with the standard difficulty. Alright, we're done with the kart racing minigame. Hooray! Wanna change the settings? I do, as a matter of fact. Let's turn change it to Knuckles. That'll be for next time. Alright. That's gonna do it for this Sonic Adventure 2 stream. Wow, we've, we've gotten up to 120 medals. Uh, I can't imagine me getting very many more than 140, if I'll be honest. So, I'll plan for at least one more stream of this next week, probably Saturday. After that, though, I don't know. I might, I might have to just end the series after a bit, because some... I feel like after next stream, the only missions we'll have left are the really, really annoying ones that I don't really want to do, so... I'll play it by ear. We'll see. Thank you all for joining in. This was fun, even though I complained a lot. <laughs> and I, I have to say that at the end of every Sonic Adventure 2 stream. This game does get worse every time I play it, but it's still fun. Alright, I'll leave you guys to it. hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. And for all of you in America, I hope you have a nice long weekend, because we have Monday off for Labor Day. And God bless.